man cutting down a tree doesn't realize that his wife has big plans for the stump. At some point in your lifetime, you'll attempt a craft-based project. It could be absolutely exceptional or it could turn out to be an utter disaster. However, chances are it will fall somewhere in between those two. Some people are so creative that they can turn even the most mundane items into amazing works of art. A master craftswoman and mother of two, Mimi, is one of those people. When Mimi's husband had cut down a decaying tree in their yard, he didn't think much of the stump left in his place. But Mimi looked at it and saw an opportunity to create something so magical and spectacular that it will make you jealous. Take a look. Mimi isn't just any ordinary crafty lady. She's actually a master craftswoman and she often details her DIY projects on her YouTube channel, Mimi's Mixed Bag. One day when Mimi's husband cut down a tree in the front yard of their Tennessee home, he had no idea that his wife was gearing up for something truly special. As she watched him work, she had an ingenious idea for the tree stump that remained. Where there was just about three feet left of the tree trunk, Mimi asked her husband to stop cutting so she could inspect the wood. Getting a good look at the stump, she asked her husband to cut the top of what remained into an A-frame. She had an idea that just couldn't wait. Next, Mimi and her husband paid a visit to their local home improvement store. Once there, they selected some quality pieces of treated cedar planking. Mimi had her husband cut the cedar planking into perfectly smooth little squares. And that was only the beginning. At first, her husband wasn't sure what Mimi had planned. Still, he knew that she had a great eye for the kind of decor that would make their home stand out from the rest, so he was happy to simply follow her directions, no questions asked. Once all the pieces of cedar planking were cut into squares, it was time to nail them into place. In order to do that, Mimi and her husband covered each side of the A-frame stump with a 2 by 4 Then they began to nail down the individual cedar plank. With the planks in place, it was time to start lining up the portions of cedar to act as shingles for this makeshift roof. It was amazing how, just by adding the shingles, it became so immediately clear what Mimi had planned for this little tree stump. In order to make sure that the roof was protected and that all the shingles stayed in place, it was important to place metal flashing at the apex of the roof. The flashing would protect the roof from damage that could occur if rain seeped between the two central planks. When the roof was done, Mimi surrounded the tiny house she had made with fresh sod to try and transform the tree from something growing out of the ground to something that appeared to have been built deliberately, perhaps by a neighborhood gnome. However, Mimi was far from done. She covered the roof with a plastic bag to protect it until she could seal the wood with waterproofing. In the meantime, she made plans for what the rest of her little gnome house would look like. That gnome house is so cute. Who wouldn't want one of these outside their home? Share this creative project with your friends below.